Tonight, some UT Austin students say they do not and will not feel safe in classrooms until leaders change how they handle sexual assault and harassment allegations. Last year, there were several protests on the campus. The students were upset. Professors who were suspended or disciplined for sexual misconduct were back in classrooms teaching. KXAN's Eugene Cho found out what UT is doing now to address those concerns. So I'm walking around a campus every day with the fear of running into the person who hurt me in the most way that anyone could possibly have. An emotional hour and a half. A lot of shame coming forward, and there shouldn't be. As students. I have nightmares every day. I go to therapy, I go to psychiatrists. Share their most personal stories. It's not every day that students get to talk directly to their administrators to say what they want. That being said, it's not the end of things. It's not the end all be all. It's not the final solution. The students want UT to better support survivors of sexual assault or harassment and make the consequences for the perpetrators tougher. Down, down, this all began with students demanding that professors be fired if they were found to have violated school policy. Between 2017 and 2019, UT found 17 staff and faculty members guilty of sexual misconduct. Most either resigned or were fired. Three professors were punished, but they're still teaching. UT's president told us they'll review their policy. Everything is fair game. We are looking at how we do investigations after a report is received, how we improve reporting, how we do investigations. Uh, we're looking at what are the, the penalties. The students are determined to fight until changes are made. If no one else is, who, who can advocate for us? Eugene Cho, KXAN News. UT's misconduct working group was formed last year in response to the student protest. UT President Greg Finvis says this group will make policy change recommendations by the spring break. The process of making a sexual misconduct complaint at UT is different if it's against a student versus a faculty member. So if the complaint's against a student, it goes through the Title IX office. If it's against a staff member, the Office for Inclusion and Equity handles it. And investigators assigned to the case and both parties are contacted to provide information. The Dean of Students Office determines if disciplinary action is needed against a student perpetrator. If a staff member needs to be disciplined, the executive vice president and provost or a dean will make the call. UT leadership will hand down sanctions to the employee.